Hey guys, so welcome to this YouTube clip. I'm just going to be showing you how to play some more popular kirtans. I remember when I started to learn kirtan and I wanted to play some kirtans by Sri Krishna Das, I found it really hard to find some freely available material, so I thought I'd chuck some online myself. Um, before we get started on learning Baba Hanuman, I just want to say one quick thing about learning kirtan, and that is if you are a beginner, if you're learning kirtan, you know, sort of, sort of for the first time, there's sort of two ways to go about it. So you can either just watch this video, learn what keys to press, and you'll be able to play the kirtan, no worries. The other way to do it is to learn some basic music um, knowledge slash theory. So just learning the major and minor chords really, really helps. I'll put a link in the description on um, where you can find them. And also to learn the um, chord inversions. Because chord inversions, they really just help your kirtan to flow so much better. And really, it's all about, kirtan is all about getting that flow going. Um, so I would really recommend to learn some basic background knowledge. It's a little bit boring, but it really just makes learning so much quicker. And suddenly you start recognizing patterns, and suddenly it, everything becomes much easier. So anyway, on that note, let's get learning. Let's learn Jayasiyaram or slash Baba Hanuman by Krishna Das. All right, so let's learn Baba Hanuman. Baba Hanuman is a very simple kirtan. It's a good kirtan to begin with because it only consists of three chords. And the chords are C, which consists of the notes G, C and E. The, chord, the next chord is F, which consists of the note A, C and F. And the final chord in the song is D minor, and that consists of the notes A, D and F. So the progression for the song, or the order in which the chords are played, um, is like this. It goes C, F, C, F, D minor, F, D minor, F, and then back to C. So a couple of things to note is that each chord is held for a count of four, which comes pretty intuitively to most people. Um, the other thing to note is that there are times in the song where you're singing and there's times in, in the song where you're not singing. So to make that easier for you, I'm just going to count when I'm not singing. So for example, the song comes in on the second beat. So that means the first beat, there's no singing. But if that's confusing, just watch um, as I'll sing the song for you and you'll get it very soon. So it goes like this. One. Jaya Siyaram Jai Jai Hanuman Three Four One Jaya Siyaram Jai Jai Hanuman Three Four One Jaya Siyaram Jai Jai Hanuman Three Four One Jaya Siyaram Jai So that's the first part of the song, and at the beginning, I remember when I first learned the song, I found it hard with the timing, particularly towards the, on the last J.R.C. Ram, where it goes like this, J.R.C. Ram, J.J. Hanuman, and so really just adding that counting, so counting in between where you're not singing, really just makes it much, much easier, particularly at the beginning. You can count out loud and then you can count in your head and then eventually you'll just get a feel for it and you won't even need to count. What I would recommend is really to go and listen to Krishna Das, the Baba Hanuman version and just play along and you'll get the feel for it really, really quickly. There are a couple of alternative lyrics to the JRC Aram. Um, these, I'm not going to show you how to do them, but basically the melody is really similar. I'll put the uh, words in the description and then you, they follow exactly the same chord progression. 
So I'll play it through one more time and then we'll move on to the next part. So it goes like this. One. Jaya Siyadam Jai Jai Hanuman Three. Four. One. Jaya Siyadam Jai Jai Hanuman Three. Four. One. Jaya Siyadam Jai Jai Hanuman Three. Four. One. Jaya Siyadam so on. So the second part of the song is even simpler. It is the Hari Rama Rama Ram Sita Rama Rama Ram. And that consists simply of the chord C and F. And again each chord is held for a count of two. Sorry not a count of two, a count of four. Um, so that makes it easy as well. And um, in this case there is no pause before singing or there are no pauses in the Hare Rama Rama Ram, so I won't need to be doing any counting and neither will you. So it goes like this. Hare Rama Rama Ram, Sita Rama Rama Ram. Hare Rama Rama Ram, Sita Rama Rama Ram. Hare Rama. Very simple and very effective and quite beautiful towards the end of the kirtan. One thing I would, or one thing that is important to note, is that the first Hare is played on an F. So it goes, Hare Rama Rama Ram Sita Rama Rama Ram Hare And then you change to the C. This makes it a little bit harder, or it can make it, not necessarily harder, but it can make it confusing when you're coming from the Jaya Ram to the Hare Rama Rama Ram when you're switching over. Because the final Hanuman, Hanuman, is played when the first Hare is sung. Hare Rama Ram, Hanuman, Hare Rama Ram. So, in order to make it easier on myself, what I usually do is I just, when I'm, when I'm changing over to the Hare Rama Rama Ram for the first time, I just skip the first Hare and start singing on the Ram, which I'll show you what it sounds like when I put the two together. So it's like this. Jaya Siya Ram Jai Jai Hanuman Jaya Siya Ram Jai So I basically cut off halfway through the Hanuman, Hanu Ram Ram Ram, and start singing the Ram Ram Ram. You don't actually need to cut off halfway through the Hanuman because if you're singing this in a kirtan, the Hanuman will be sung by the audience and you'll be starting to sing the Hare Ram Ram Ram. So you could technically sing Hare over the Hanuman. You could start going Hare Ram 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 and so on while the response is still singing Hanuman. But that just sometimes throws people off just at the beginning because they've basically got to start singing when the audience is still singing. So that's basically the kirtan. It's pretty straightforward. Again, if you're confused, listen to Krishna. You know the you know the progression of the chords now. So listen to Krishna Das playing it. Put it put him on. Listen to his version and play along, sing along, 
and you'll get the feel for it, the timing, you'll know when to come in. And the more you do that, the easier it'll get and eventually you'll be playing it no worries. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.